At 9.32, we have an update to the breaking news we've been tracking for you this morning. Dunbar High School put on lockdown a couple of hours ago. Yeah, and obviously a scary situation for any parents that heard that, but the Fort Myers Police Department assures that all students and staff are safe. We want to get straight to John Barron. He is live there in front of Dunbar High School this morning. John, how did this all play out? Yeah, so I want to get right to it. First off, there is no shooter located on campus at this point in time. Rob Spicker with the Lee County Schools has given us all that clarity, saying that FMPD is on site just to investigate. I want to show you right now the scene, of course, this morning as we're starting to pull up. And of course, we were told that about 15 minutes from now, the principal is going to feel OK enough to start allowing traffic back in and out of the school. Right now, I want to show you that parents eager at this point in time, hoping to get to their kids and just make sure that they're OK. Just being able maybe some of them already saying that they're going to pull them out for the day just as a precaution and so as you can see traffic is even backed up and I want to show you the school at this moment in time you can see that FMPD is on site right now and just kind of blockading the entrance of the school take a look right here this is the scene that we're taking a look at up and down the road traffic just backed up and as you can see obviously FMPD heavily enforced right now and they've already broke the barrier at the front end of the road now kind of allowing traffic back on this street up and down but like I said talking about more about what Rob Spicker with the Lee County Schools was saying he sent us this text message saying quote the school is on lockdown due to a social media meme saying there is a school shooter on campus but there is no shooter the students are safe the lockdown is a precaution while FMPD investigates. Now, of course, you guys can find all this details on our website at fox4now.com, but we've already spoken with several parents who have told us that, you know, this is shocking. And just days after what's taking place in Nashville, we spoke to one woman who was just overcome with emotions. She said that, you know, it's come to the point where we can't go to schools, we can't go to churches or even grocery stores. She started to break down saying, my grandkids are inside, and it just makes me wonder what the world is coming to. We'll have more for you. You can even hear from some of those parents coming up later on in our show. For now, live here in Lee County, John Barron, Fox 4.